Hello and welcome to The Ordeal. Hope everybody is ready for a happy new year. I want to read this article here. Women have been conditioned to lower their expectation in an era of supposed gender equality. We're still not demanding enough from our men. Now, before we get started, I do want to mention that I have a backlog of things I need to talk about. This was at the top of the list, so that's why we're doing this one right here. Uh, don't worry, my Australian fans. I am looking for David Lion Jelm and Libby Lyons videos to talk about. I haven't found anything that's good ammunition yet. That being said, please like, comment, and share this video. We have to beat the algorithm. I'm not beating the algorithm. The algorithm is kicking my butt all over the place, in case you hadn't noticed, by my subscriber count. So please click the red button below the video and the bell for notifications. Leave a comment. That helps me beat the algorithm. Share this video with, with as many people as possible. That helps me beat the algorithm and watch the video to the very end. All these things help me beat the algorithm. YouTube is unsubscribing people, so make sure you're still subscribed to my channel. Um, this I didn't know that this was happening for sure. I'd heard about it for years, but now I know for sure that it's actually happening. If you're interested to know more about it, just leave a comment below. All right, on to the article. This is by a woman named Janice Bay. So we know that she's not biased at all because women are never biased in any way. They're always the most egalitarian of all people. Growing up as a millennial, I learned all too late that the rights that I have as a woman were very recently gained when considering the issue from the historical perspective. The 1970s ushered in a new wave of progressive legislation in the name of women's rights. This legislation included the recognition of marital and women's right to get a credit card just to name a few. Think of how devastatingly recent that progress was. What that ultimately means is that the few generations that have been born thereafter are among the first who were able to live their whole lives in a time when women actually had all the rights that men did. So women have all the rights that men have, but you're not demanding enough from men? Really? You already have all the rights. In fact, you have more rights. We've talked about this before. Women actually have more rights than men do in the United States, and I think in pretty much every Western country. Our empowerment financially, educationally, and otherwise hasn't done enough to combat the gendered expectations that are conditioned in us. Oh, they're conditioned in you. Are you sure it's not biology? You really think that, that we live in a world where men are demanding that women do things that they, you know, they want them to do? I'll tell you what men want from women. They want you to be nice. They want you to be pretty. And they want you to be committed in an um, intimate relationship and available to them in that relationship on a regular basis. That's pretty much all that we want from women. That's a lot to ask. That's really a lot to ask. Believe me, I got into confrontation twice yesterday with women. And, and none of them, I, neither one of them I know, they're just incredibly rude, um, insulting, verbally insulting. I mean, just no, there's no two, two ways about it. I mean, these words are commonly used to, to insult, so it's not like it was, <laughs> it's questionable. But men are the ones who need to change. Don't get me wrong, young women today still recognize that there is a lot of progress to be made. This is why we have the Women's March every year, and intimate abusers have been outed more in the past decade than they ever have in history. We continue to fight for our reproductive rights that are regularly threatened by the outdated Puritan values that still have too much influence on our nation's value. Just because something's old doesn't mean it's outdated, right? We still use gunpowder, and that's thousands of years old. So they say here um, there's been more persecution of these uh, abusers, but we're seeing a lot more of that stuff being, you know, oh, um, afterwards, I didn't, I didn't want him to do that. Or there's been like, oh, I stand with Jackie, who is clearly lying. We have video evidence that she was lying. Or Mattress Girl, who, you know, we have the text messages going back and forth of this, this girl going, yeah, I want you to do me. And the guy's like, okay. And then she says, oh, it was, it was not consensual. Um, yeah, that's not true. We also have here where she says, oh, re reproductive rights. Well, you have all the reproductive rights. You have more reproductive rights than men do. And unless and until I can keep you away from my wallet, you don't deserve these re reproductive rights. Because women all over the country are going, hey, you're rich. You're going to get me pregnant. And then next thing you know, this guy's on the hook for at least 18 years to pay for this individual that he did not know he was going to be paying for and these these puritanical rights i mean i i don't necessarily i don't agree with this right i don't agree that abortion should be illegal but the people who who think that it should be they seem to be saying look the the baby is a living thing and we shouldn't be killing it. it's a human being we shouldn't be killing that okay i get that the consequences of of, of 
having illegal abortion are. I mean, I get that women would be doing back alley abortions, and that's just horrendous for everyone involved. So the, it's, it's a necess- I guess you could call it a necessary evil. Moving on. But men never seem to tire of telling us that besides a few issues here and there, we need to get on with the program and consider ourselves equal already. You- you're, you're not equal. You're right. You're not equal. You're 100% right. What was your name? Jessica Bay? Was that, was that your name? Janice Bay. You're 100% right. You're not equal. You actually have more rights than men do. To them, the pay gap is a myth that's mostly enforced by women's own choices and career paths. Yes, we've gone over this a billion times now. It's been debunked one billion times. I'm, I'm just saying it right there. That's a fact. It's been debunked one billion times. There is no pay gap. The pay gap is women's choices. And like I've stated before, women lie about their income. Persistently, women lie about their income. And it's not that they're – in the woman's mind, she's not being dishonest. This is, this is a, a sense of where women come from. And correct me if I'm wrong, if you're a woman out there watching my video, if you're one of the two women who's ever seen any of my videos, please, by all means, correct me if I'm wrong on this. To women, truth is more aligned with emotion than it is with men. That's just how it is. And so if you feel like you feel like you didn't make that much money, you're not going to say, yeah, I made this much money. I, mean, I, get, I run into the same thing with, with my wife. Love my wife. Don't, don't get me wrong. She's a great woman. I love her. But she says things like, oh, I only make like $30,000, 30000 a year. And then I look at her taxes because I handle the taxes i'm like you make a lot more than that so to them the fact that women earn more college degrees than men is irrefutable proof that we can put the issue of gender equality on the back burner no that's not irrefutable proof that is one factor not irrefutable proof at all but it's one factor that shows that women are doing better than men women are more likely to make more money in their 20s before they have children than men are Women have all the power when it comes to social interaction. Women and wealthy men, or, you know, high-quality men, as you call them, the Brad Pitts of the world, they have all the power when it comes to social interaction. Very few men outside of the the high-quality men can get any kind of social credit in any way. But despite all the political and legislative progress, we can't help but feel that we fail to make the same amount of progress socially. You already have all of the power socially. I just, I just stated that you guys have all of the power. Brief Faults Law. I talked about it in a recent video. Look up Brief Faults Law. Uh, our empowerment financially, educationally, and otherwise hasn't done enough to combat the gendered expectations that are conditioned in us. This has created generations of women who are capable of being on their own, but who sacrifice their self-esteem, self-worth, and dignity for a chance to be chosen by a man for marriage. Really? You have to sacrifice your self-esteem, your self-worth, and your dignity? to be chosen for marriage. You think that you think that preparing a meal for another human being, you think that having children and raising those children, you think that cleaning your living space is degradation in some way? Is is self-degradation. Are you retarded? I mean seriously, are you like not even functioning in the brain area? I clean the my living space. I prepare meals for myself and for my wife. I, I if we had children, I would wholeheartedly take part in raising them because why else would you have children unless you want to spend time with them unless you want to help them grow into a useful member of society what's the point of having children if you don't want to do those things for those children man this woman is so not even smart this person gets paid to write and her ideas are so garbage (sighs) but do we ever ask ourselves what was she doing married to that guy in the first place she fell in love and decided she should spend her life with this person? How is that such a bad thing? I'm oh, and by the way, I wish I, had, I wish I had more people watching my videos so that this word could get out. If you think, oh, well, you know, the government should have nothing to do with whether or not people get married. The reason government is involved in marriage is because people in America or any other country, but people in America fall in love with people in other countries, and then they want to get married and live in the same country, and... The United States is in charge of who is a citizen in the United States. Whether you agree with me or not, heterosexual women are socialized to make ourselves desirable to men. You're not doing a very good job of it at all. I mean, you're obese, you're rude, you're disgusting, you're selfish, you are non-cooperative in any way. You are gold digging, you are not good mothers, you're not good wives in general. So why would men want to have anything to do with you? And in our attempts to do this, we've begun a race to the bottom. Not only are we capable of working and paying the bills, somehow that ability has come with no change in the expectation that we still put more time in to keep ourselves physically presentable 
that we regularly take on a majority of the emotional labor and that we silently endure the second shift at home. Statistics show that men, that especially married men, but men in general are doing more housework than ever. Plus, they're working just as long hours, if not more, than ever before. Okay. Um, the emotional labor, uh, well, you're demanding more and more that men oh, show their emotions, wear your emotions on your sleeve, be emotional, be a little soy boy all the time. And I was that way for decades of my life, and it got me nowhere, but into trouble all of the time. More physically presentable. Yeah, you're right. Men don't have to be physically presentable. And besides which, your notion of physically presentable, what I've noticed 99.99% of women think is physically presentable is that their hair is cared for and they put on makeup. They can be 300 pounds. That's okay. They got their hair done and they, they put on makeup. That's that they look good. No, 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 no. Stop wasting your time with makeup. Go to the gym. So yes, you're, you're wasting your time being physically presentable and women choose to wear makeup. It's not like, not like anybody is, is, is forcing you to do this. You, you want to sit here and say, yes, it's, it's, it's our fault because we've been conditioned by society to do this. Oh, okay. Well, maybe ignore the makeup ads. I ignore most of the ads that I see. Huh, imagine that. I don't go, oh, I need that thing because they're telling me that I'll be successful if I get that thing. No, I'm not foolish enough to believe those things. I never have been. No matter how many rights and freedoms we've won, gendered expectations are a socialization issue, not a legislative one. Yeah, so you want to be exactly like men in every way? You really want to be exactly like men in every way? How is that going to serve you? You're not going to get what you want if you're if you're like men. If, even if you were just had the same exact status in society as men, you would not be happy. You know why? Because you're never going to be happy. Men are not solely at fault here. Women are also at fault for allowing gendered expectations to thrive in the name of finding and sustaining relationships. Yeah, well, what do you want? You, you, you want? you want to have a relationship or not? So there's gender expectations. Do you, do you want to take out the trash? Typically, that's a man's job. Why don't you, why don't you just step up and start taking out the trash? You know, women women are all so quick to be like, oh, it's not my job to, to mow the lawn. Oh, it's not my job to fix the car. Oh, it's not my job to take out the trash. Oh, it's not my job to change the light bulbs. But as soon as they, they have to do the dishes, <sighs> how come I always have to do the dishes? How come I'm the one? At some point, we need to draw the line. Yeah. Every article written by a woman who complains about her husband failing to take on more labor in the home seems empowering. But do we ever ask ourselves what was she doing married to that guy in the first place? How do so many women go through dating and engagement and the early stages of marriage failing to see what a glaring problem her low expectations were to begin with? No. You have to understand that there is a division of labor. It's that simple. My, my wife expects me to... to deal with kind of any sort of little like repairs we do around the home here which is not not that much stuff i mean hanging shelves i do that stuff hanging pictures making sure that you know stuff is taken care of generally speaking those are bigger tasks that don't happen as frequently but she handles the more day-to-day -day stuff so there's that division of labor in there and it, there's nothing wrong with having a division of labor however you do it but now i realize how imbalanced this was how his level of nonchalance was directly proportional to my level of wanting to prove to him that I could go along with or without complaint. Really? Can you, can you like, show me statistical figures for that? I'm as guilty as anyone of these behaviors. When I first met and started dating my ex-husband... <sighs> That's the reason why he's your ex-husband. <laughs> I would take it upon myself to tidy up his room and do the dishes in a house I didn't even live in. I excused his messiness because, well, I had never met a guy who was very clean to begin with, so I normalized and excused his behavior. You know, like I said before, this is biology. Women want to have a cleaner work area or cleaner living area than men do, I think, in general. I think that's just generally the way it is. It's, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's just the way that we are as humans. They don't, but anymore, they don't want to put in the work to do it. They want to have a cleaner space, but they don't want to put in the work to do it. I thought doing these things to him would prove my worth as a good woman and as a good partner, but now I realize how imbalanced this was. How this level of nonchalance was directly proportional to my level of wanting to prove to him that I could go along with or without complaint. Having been raised by generations who heavily adhere to traditional gender roles, we've come to normalize these values whether we're conscious of it or not. Even a woman in a high-power career making a six-figure salary is not immune to such socialization. 
So instead of letting this version of equality be a dream meant to be achieved by generations of women after us, we need to start demanding it for ourselves. This may mean being alone more than being partnered. This may mean never getting married or having children because because there aren't enough men who live up to these expectations to go around. Frankly, we've got to raise the bar if we want our daughters and nieces to have better. You think that forcing men to do all of the housework, you think that forcing men to, to bring home the bacon and do all the housework is going to make your lives better? You are delusional. You need to stop right now, Janice, because you're, you're going to make everything worse for everybody. And considering men receive praise for doing the bare minimum, not assaulting someone blackout drunk. That Nobody receives praise for that. Who receives praise for doing for that? I've never received praise in my entire life for not assaulting somebody in an intimate way. Because it's not something I've never, ever done. I've never done that, but I've never received praise for it. Nobody receives praise for that. Are you st- <laughs> this, this woman. <laughs> Waking up to tend to the baby. I've never had children, but it's my understanding that, that fathers often do wake up to tend to the baby. Cooking meals or doing loads of laundry unprompted. I, I cook for my wife on a regular basis, and she says thank you. And she cooks for me, and I say thank you. What, what more do you want? Staying faithful, etc. Nobody's ever been praised for staying faithful. Where are you getting this information from? You live in like this fantasy world where these things are true? This woman is so delusional. It has to be clear that the bar needs to be raised drastically. And much like grassroots movements, this change starts on an individual level. It starts with each woman who refuses to compromise on a higher standard. If you're a woman reading this, it starts with you. No. No, no, no. Is there any good comments down here? I doubt it. Let's see. Uh, I find myself in the awkward situation of responding to you as I believe you to be a female case of arrested development. Yep. (laughs) Here's a neat idea you can try the next time. The patriarchy oppresses you. You can take your expectations of men and F yourself with them. Men don't owe you anything. (laughs) And you're never going to care whether you feel oppressed or that you have it. I don't even know what else he's going to write, but it's awesome. Oh, look, another oppressed woman writing about how oppressed she is by the horrible expectations of men. (laughs) As if doing the bare minimum of looking decently attractive or, you know, being a wife, is some kind of terrible burden because now you work. Yeah, whose choice was it to go to work? (laughs) Please, by all means, raise the bar. I'm going fishing. Yes, George John, you're awesome. That's epic. Somehow that uh, ability has come with no change in the expectations that we still put more time in to keep ourselves physically presentable. Makeup doesn't make you... I said the same thing. It makes you expensive. <laughs> oh, man. Gentlemen, when you find a woman like this, run. Don't settle for a feminist career woman. Instead, wait for that unicorn, the traditional woman who wants to stay home and dedicate herself to serving her husband and raising the kids. Avoid feminists at all costs. Yep. <laughs> I'm a man, 46 years old, and happily married for already 16 years. There's a short poem by Rudyard Kipling that, in my w- opinion, constitutes the best reply I could offer to Miss Bay article. In August was the jackal born, the rains fell in September. Now such a fearful flood as this, says he, I can't remember, best regards. Uh, wow, just wow. That would be the biggest pile of entitled, self-obsessed nonsense I've ever read. Congrats. Perhaps just a basic level of self-awareness in women would be nice. Yep. 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 As a man who only has friends and avoids all romantic relationships, this means next to nothing for me. I clean, I cook, and I work. Worrying about what others think of you, whether you are a man or woman, feminist, or avoid MRA, you... Spending way too much energy on what others think of you. Yep. This woman is, yeah, completely delusional. I'm glad that there's other people out there who see this for what it is. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Please have a happy new year. Like, comment, share, and I will see you next time.